Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful video, we're trying to see how to build a very simple, useful CLI for generating domain names, right? Core domain registry. Now let's see how to work with this particular CLI and then how to build it and how to deploy it on an NPM editor. Now let's see an example. Go to be node, then domain history, that's that help. You can see us the basic usage. So these are the various commands that you can employ. So you have generate to generate Domain names, right? The common domain name and save it to a JSON file. And I can also go with the get common. The reason I use get is that I don't want it to be too long, right? To be too long. So get get common to get common domain names, example like .com, .org. In case you also want to get for new domain names like .io, .ai, you can also use this particular option. Then in case you want to want to get extra stuff like tv, .side, .org, you can also use this particular option. Now let's see how it works. It's going to be no domain history. Then let's give it as a generate. Let's give it an example. So example has a name of applying. So perfect. So it has generated a very simple common domain name. So you have example.com, example.edu.net.org. Example so these are the various domain names that are generated. Very interesting. Then it's going to save it into a file called example domain names.json. So let's cut that particular file. Then this is it. It's very interesting with the common domain names and it's an interesting stuff that you can also use to do whatever you want, whatever you want to do. Now let's see some other interesting stuff you can also do. So the same stuff we did. So in case you have double names, two names, you, want to, you have to put inside the string. So let's give that. Let's say Jesse. Then uh, technology. Something like this. Jesse technologies. Then if I click on this, it's going to generate it. Jesse technologies. You know, this and save it in a particular file, right? That is how to work in case you have two names or three names or four names, any of them. Okay, perfect. So let's see another option. This is for the long form. So in case you want a straight form, you just go with this, then G, right? So if I go with G, it's also going to do the same thing. So let's call that Jesse Tech. Then it's also going to work, right? So either the long format of this or the short format of G. So going to work. Very interesting. Okay. Now let's see other options that can also do. So in case you only want to get the common names without saving to a file, you can just go with the start we did. So node domain history. Then I just go with get common. So let's give it an example. So example. But it's only going to give us without saving it, right? It's not going to save this one. So in case I want to also want to get extra domain names, I just go with extra. So it's going to give us all the extra ones like .asia, .africa, .us, .me, .base. So the extra is just like location based, right? And then some extra stuff like .tv, .tv, .it, .to, .eu, .china, .online. <laughs> now in case I want to get new ones like AI and co, I also do the same thing like this. So let's go with that's new. So it's going to give us all these interesting stuff. So these are the new ones which are not very common, right? Dot R, dot site, these are not very common. Okay, in case I also want to get it for prefaces, right? I can also do the same thing. So let's say let's say I've been searching for a domain name like this domain name. Domain itself is very it's almost used that and you want to get one, you can just put preface, then it's going to give us a new suggestion with prefaces in front of it. So this is very interesting. So the preface is going to automatically generate this a domain.com, I domain.com, e domain.com, the domain.com, my domain.com, me domain.com, we domain.com, top which are useful and very useful for C SEO, right? Very interesting. So in case you also want to get it as surfaces, you can also do the same thing. So that in that case it's going to be sort of preface, it's going to be surface. Okay, so these are the surfaces. So that's adding up. It's adding it at the end. So domain online.com, domain world.com, domain iu.com, domain me.com, domain you, domain app, and several of them. Very interesting. So this has these are the various features you can also work with. There are several aspects to be added to it over time. So thank you for watching and then stay tuned for how to build this particular CLI. Okay, so welcome back. So in this particular session, we're trying to see how to build this wonderful CLI and deploy it. So we're just going to create our folder. So LKDIR. Then let's give it the name as domain history. Then let's see it into our domain history. Right, perfect. So this is going to be our CLI. So first of all, we are going to initialize our npm. So npm init. Okay. 
clinical life product so that is the name you'll be using domain history copying that is not taken on empty baggage perfect then version one then description so domain name generation cli right a domain name generation cli then the description then the entry points we can just put any name there but for this case let's make it a domain history Okay, right then we have the test command no test you know we doing test you add test later so we can also add the git github repository which you have not created which we will create later then the keywords is domain history as the first way then you also have domain name generator and then let's say domains right? very interesting so the actor is going to be me then let's give it an answer so MIT answers. Perfect. So yes. <laughs> see how I spoiled the yes. Perfect. So now let's see. Let's create the package of JSON file. Let me bring it here. So inside this package of JSON file, there's nothing there. So let's go to our folder that we have. So this is in open a particular folder. So that's the folder. Perfect. So let's close this. Now perfect. So that's what you have so far. Right. So the basic I we have named to create the JSON file. So if I check the JSON file, we have the name of the package, the version, the description. We also have the keywords, we have the author, and then the license. Very interesting and very simple to work with. Now let's see how to add the various packages so we'll be adding the various packages that we need first of all let's create a readme have a structure of whatever we're doing so readme.md so this is going to be a domain this two this a domain name generator CLR, right that is the basic idea. So this is a simple domain name nation CLI in Node.js. Something very simple, right? Okay, so we have we have given it a simple description. Now let's see the various outline out. The outline you'll be doing in this tutorial that we're going to build the app. So we're going to build the app, then we're going to deploy. Right or publish, we will not be testing it in this tutorial. Then, also want to deploy on also GitHub and then as well as NPM. So, these are the basic items of our that of what we're doing today. Okay, so, we have our domain. So, the viewers will comment, we put in there. So, let's put the viewers will comment. So, the requirement that we need is we need. A commander for JS, you also need chop for JS, you also need these are the basic ones that you need. You can also add in current and all of these are the basic ones that you need. So let's add them. So it's going to be npm store, we have chop, we have commander, then that's the save. So we're going to save it, then we're going to add it to this our JSON file, right? So that we're able to deploy it. So whilst it is doing so, we need to create this particular file. Right? We have to create this particular file. So let me create this file. So let's save it as domain history.js. Perfect. So that's the name of the file that you are saving. That's why we're doing all the logic. Right? Just finish saving it. So just added this back chop and then commander to it. Very interesting. Now let's work on it. So the basic idea that I'm going to create going to import the previous stuff to import program then going to be our record okay what are we requiring we are requiring the commander okay. so the first thing then the next thing we also need is the chalk then car chalk right for this question so as in the previous tutorial learned that to create just going to create a simple command 
motivation to give the particular version that you have. So based on the version that is supplied in a package of this one, file, we had 1.00, right? So let's give it the same thing as 1.00, right? So that is what you're going to do. Then you have to bring the thing that you want to run into program dot pass. Then we need to pass in our process dot rgv. So that is the basic idea about it, right? So let's save it. Then let's run it here and see. So let me clear it. So we have our domain history. So if I go to node, then domain history. Does that help? Okay, so we see that we have our version, which is this one. So let's try the version and see. We are testing it, so, <laughs> so it's working, right? So the version 1.0, which is written here, then everything is working perfectly. Perfect. So now let's see how to add the various things we want to do to it. So we have created a simple script that we're working with. First thing we need is that we're just going to create our program. So I'm going to call it as our, our commands. Right, and then we need to use our utilities to our data, right? Perfect. So let's start with the command. So the first one is going to do the program dot command. Then the command we are giving is the command called generate. Right, so that is the first stuff we are doing. Then we need a description for that particular stuff. So the description is going to be get. Let's see what get. Common domain name and save to json file okay, so let's beautify it so this it's okay but let's beautify it so that like so we have our generate and one thing that you can also add the particular option there right so that we know it's going to pass this particular document very interesting now you can add an alias to it so the alias is going to be g then let's add our action. So this is going to be our action. So the action is what we'll be trying to work with. So let's create our action at the, at the top here. So it's going to be our function. It's going to be our, all our functions. The first function we're going to create is function. And this function is going to be generate common domain. Oops. Well, it's a long name, but <laughs> right. Then it takes in an argument. Then that's the name of the function, right? So let's build this particular function. So now let's create an individual function. So the function that we're creating is this. So you have this first function for so function. Then no, the function is going to be generate domains, right? It's going to generate domains. Then we're going to pass in our name. Perfect. Right. So this is the function that we are creating to generate domains, right? Go to generate all the domains, then go to save it. So first of all, let's first of all create a simple stuff yes, and then we work on it. We add the previous stuff. So I'm just going to create the various domains. So let's put that common domains. Then I'm going to pass inside a list of dot com. Right, these are the previous lists. So it's of com 
Org. Com org. Which one again? Net. Then which one again? Do we need? Let's say com org. Net and then the next one is edu. And these are the very most common ones. Then don't forget to operation. Perfect. So we have a common domains list. Perfect. So, so the next option we need to do is that we need to create a variable for the name to so var new name. So why am I calling new name? I'm calling new name that so that in case you have two names like domain and example or domain and something, you can put them together, right? So it's going to be our name that we are having. It's going to be our name. See what I'm doing. <laughs> it's going to be our name, right? Which is this particular variable here. I'm going to split it. As a string, as when you split it, you're also going to join it. Perfect, right? So that is how to work with it. Very interesting. So we now we are now going to create a new name from the name that is being supplied, which is going to make sure that even if the names are two or three or four, you're going to put them all together and give us a single domain name for that. Then let's try and log it out, right? Let's try and log something out. So console.log log our new name. Right, so let's try it in this. So let's see how to add this particular function to it before we add the previous complications to it. So it's going to be this. To add a function, there are two main ways. You can just take by function. Right, and then you can just pass in the variable that you have, which is the name. This name is coming from here, right? This name here. Then we're going to pass in our particular option. We're going to be generate name, generate the names, then we're going to pass it in. Right, so let's save it. Let's see when it's going to work. So we have brought a simple function, so let's try to see. So node, node domain history, let's help. Perfect, so let's try our generate. And then let's give it a name like example. Perfect, so that now it's working, right? It's able to log it out, just as we had here. So let's put it into double, so example. Example JS, something like that. That still, it was not able to work very well, right? <laughs> it's not able to work very well. Example, yeah, right. So that's the issue that I, I was talking about, right? Because I did generate example JS, it was able to only pass the example here, right? Without passing the full stuff. That is why we brought the splits here, right? So in bringing a split, that means that the next time you're going to run, it's no more going to be like this, it's going to be. Put this one into a bracket. If I put this one into strength, now it's going to put them together for us. Right. Let us put them together. <laughs> but there's an issue. So the issue that is happening that it is two we're supposed to join them. So the issue that you are having here is that there was a space here, right? There's a space. So there's not supposed to be any space. So let's save it and then let's run it again. Perfect. So now just join them together, right? So that is the basic idea. So the purpose of this new name is to allow us to be able to add several stuff. So even if I add three stuff, say let's call it as js com, right? It's going to join all of them together. Perfect, right? So that is the basic idea of this particular split. So we know how to be able to use and fix or work with multiple names and then single name. So now let's see another stuff we can also do. So another thing that we can also do is that we try to see how to build this particular domain, right? With this simple one that we have here, this simple one. So we'll be using a normal list comprehension. So let's call it as this. So I'll create a new list so var new. Let's put a new list, right? Then the new list you are creating. Then this list is going to go with our common domains that is at the top there. Dot map, right? So that is how to create a list comprehension. Then we're going to pass in our function. 
the one that the function do the version will take a value of d right a single d then it is going to return something so this is going to return a particular stuff so what are you returning to so be using the normal back tick then you returning something returning the new name that you have right dot for any dot that is going to come and then you also go with our particular d right this particular d so this d is looping through all of these things and then going to bring it here for us perfect so there's going to be d that is all right so we have been able to create a simple list convention so let me end it here with this and let's expand it so that you see it all. so this is a simple list comprehension so i can just bring it like this if it writes something very simple so if i run this one again so now let's run our particular so node the main history then let's give it as generate and let's add a name so the name is going to be example right so that now it's giving us example because we are not logging it out so if i go back to instead of new name now let's log out this as new list so i'll save it so we run it again now if you see that that's added the dot com dot org dot next dot edu and then dot co so that is the basic idea about all this stuff. so you are just quick receiving the name right that is being passed let me you are receiving the name that is being passed here then we are adding this particular extensions to it right by creating a simple list comprehension or a map right a a map using map to create a simple list comprehension or an array of all the ways there in a very simple and nice way that is the basic idea about this particular application right so whatever you'll be doing to change it to be changing it be using the same particular format and then you'll be just changing how it operates that is the basic idea. so we will need a list of all the possible common domain names new domain names extra domain names and then we use it right to create it that is a bigger idea. Perfect. So then let's move on to the next option of not only creating a generate. Now we have how to create, create the generate. So how do we add saving to it? Right? So how do we add save function to it? So to add save, save function to it, it's going to be bar, or you can make it cons, any of them. Then fs, then we're going to require fs, right? So we'll be using this fs to enable us to be able to add save function to it very interesting and then the, the fs is going to allow allow you to write our result into a file right so let's see how to do that so it's going to be our bar file name right and then the file name is going to be the name that you have so our new name plus whatever word that you want to use so plus this string so domain names plus dot json is another string right so that's the file name you're going to have very interesting then after that the next thing we need to do is that we are going to write our file so fs dot write and then we are going to go with write file then the write file takes the name of the file so file name then the way that you actually want to write right so this is what you want to write you want to write this new mistake but we have to since we are putting it on a json we have to stringify it so json dot string if i string if i i don't know whether it's correct yeah stringify yeah, perfect otherwise just going to write only an object perfect so we have name to write it there then we can also give it a utf8 code encoding then we can put in a simple function to give us an error so it to be our function Passing an error, let me expand this to the C2. Then we're going to say that if there is an error, so if error, I want you to throw error, right? Else, you console dot log that you have saved. So let's call that save to file, right? So you are saving to file, and then the name of the file is going to be whatever thing that you want to put there so let's give it as something like a file name, right a new file name perfect so that is the basic idea about how to do that right so save the file and let's save it and then let's write and see 
we have the same example the visitor c to file right so this is the name of the file so example the main name so if i go back to my ls let's, let's see if you see that we have a particular file here so if i we have a particular file here so in case i cut it so cut this example file so now we have our list that was supplied initially this our list has been supplied here very interesting right that's been placed there in a simple way so that is one way of adding list or creating a writing our documents writing our result onto a list well, i think it's just a string but you try and put it inside a nice json format right so this is just a an array but you try and put it inside a nice json format okay so let's see another side can also do to add some notification to it so to add notification to this particular so I'll save to file name as we had here we can add notification by going with chalk dot the chalk that we have initially but you can use that one also to enable us to do that right we have chalk then we have white dot bg for background so let's put the background red and go to passing our particular stuff so I save it and I do the same stuff here. Let's run it and see. So I said now it is a red format, right? So that's the basic idea of how to add colors to it. So we are using chalk.white, then bg red, and then file the file name. So it's giving us this red color. That is the basic idea about how to generate or create different domain names, right? With a very simple function. So the basic idea is that you're just going to create a normal from the command line, you're creating a command then a description then an alias then an action so inside this action you are passing is our function so what does our function do the function consists of different a list of different domains then you are going to pass in the way that is being supplied by the function then we're going to join them together so that in case there are multiple ways you'll still be able to work with it then you're going to create a list comprehension using map we're going to create a new array then you can see the array that is being produced and you're going to create another file and I'm going to write whatever thing that you, you have generated onto that file. Right? So that's a basic idea about it. So let's create the remaining ones. So we have one for generating names. So that means I have to increase this particular stuff, right? So let me refactor this. So this one can be placed outside of the function, and then we can place it here as as here. And then if I do that, it's still going to work. So let's try to not example, but let's try to test. That's still it's working, right? It's still working, although it is outside. So that is what we're trying to do, right? So we're trying to refactor them and put them outside. So I'm going to copy all the list of all the various stuff we need. So we have common names, domain, and then the various ones. Paste it here. So these are the various ones that we have. So we have surface domains, we have preface domains, we have extra domains, we have common domains, we have new domains, right? These are the various ones that we have. We have added to it so now then let's change this one from common domain to common domain right so because the new list we have created is common domain very interesting so if i run it back again so let's try it and run let's use another way like top tau and i just created a very a long list of top of, the, of all the common dom domains right more than the previous one that we had that is a basic idea that saved it inside a particular file so I'm just going to create different functions for the rest. So let's do some quick stuff. So we have one for creating our domain name. Let's create another one. It's going to be program dot command. Then this is going to be for the get all. So let's say get common, right? just go with the get common like this then you can also pass in the particular stuff just like I did. It's still going to work then dot description to give us a particular description so it gets a common domain names and then we go with the next one is going to be our Alias. So the alias that's applying is going to be our GC, 
right for get common and the next thing is our action so this is going to be the action and then this action can be done in another way you can just do it normal arrow function then we just pass in whatever thing you want to do instead of doing it function you can just go with this you just give it as generate common domains then you create this particular function later perfect right so that is the basic idea about it so we have created another option so if i go back to this here and then let's run it and see what you have so it's going to be node domain history as a help and now we're going to have two commands so we have one command for generate one command for get common very interesting so you have to create a particular function just like we did here for it right but in this case we're using common domain so you can use this particular same stuff and then take out this right because we'll not be saving it so let me copy this one here and then let's paste it but it's going to be create common more domains and then we don't need this we are not writing in far we are just logging it out perfect right so if i save it and let's see hope everything is working well yeah so we have this now so in case i want it to run it's going to be this instead of generate you can just go with get common and then you can just pass in the name so let's say total like so twitter.com twitter.edu twitter.net twitter.com very interesting so it is working perfectly so i'll copy the remaining functions and then put inside so we have to get one for our individual ones we have to get for our surfaces we have to get one for the prefaces the extra domain and then common domain and then the new domain so the, it, we're still using the same functions right almost the same functions so let's see how to do that Let's see how to add a particular option to it. So I'll copy it and paste so that we save time. Perfect. So now let's go through what you have done so far. So we have the commands. We have one for generating, as we did previously. We also have one for getting the common names. We have one for getting the new names. We have one for getting the extra names. We have one for getting the surfaces, for getting the prefaces, for getting all the stuff together. We also have for the generate and save, right? Here's the basic idea. We can just omit this one. And then let's see the individual functions. So the functions are going to be just the same thing that we did. So remember that we had something like this, the previous one, right? So generate common names, which is you see the particular word being passed, join them together, create a list comprehension, then use chalk to beautify this particular stuff, and then create a new stuff, create a new list, or log out the list. Same thing for the new names. The only thing you are changing is this particular stuff, the particular list, right? Same for the surfaces. Same for the prefaces, same for the extra domains. And then to create all for them, you're just going to pass in all the individual list together. And you're going to create an object, right? So this is going to be the object, the so common domain name, special domain names, new domain names, prefaces, domain names, service domain names. And then we're going to be passing all these things inside this particular list or list object to be able to make the JSON format nicer. So that's the basic idea. So we're going to repeat the same thing for the generate all is going to log it and then it's going to save it as we did previously right. so let's let me save this particular stuff we have later we'll try and refactor it to make it more interesting so i'll run everything back again Perfect. so now it is loaded it's full of a lot of stuff let's run it again so we have our generate Get common name, get new name, get extra, get surface, get prefix, get all, get generate, and see. Very interesting. So everything works perfectly. Now let's see how to work with it. So most of the time we are doing like this node, then domain history, then you pass in something like generate, and let's say tutorial, right? So truth. So that's also what we are doing. But we don't want to be doing this particular stuff all the time. So how do we save ourselves from doing this particular stuff all the time? So the simplest way is to npm link it. So it's going to be like this. So npm link. Right. That's what. We, but before we do that, let's go to our JSON file file that we had. JSON particular JSON file. Then we'll be adding some interesting code to make it easy for us to link it. So let's put it here. 
then let's place in a bin, right? It's going to be a bin. Binary for ob object, then you pass in the particular stuff. So this is what we're passing inside here. Okay, so what are we passing is we are passing in the particular name. Okay, so we're going to take the name that you want to be using. So instead of we using this right domain history, no domain history, I'm just going to go straight up to domain history. So I'm going to pass in that domain history here. The name that I want, so I'm not going to call that domain history. JS just domain history. Then it's going to go with the particular location of where the file is, right? The file that we want to link to. So it's going to be our domain history. It's going to be our domain history. The same stuff. Dot js. Is the name of this particular file that we have. So I'll save it. I've added this particular stuff here. The next thing we need to do is that we need to add a user bin to the top of our file here, right? Let's put it on our shebang right then it's going to be our user dash bin dash env no right so let's save it and then now we're going to do npm link to link it perfectly okay, so that's finish linking it so that's linked it to our system very well to this particular location so now we can just call straight away we don't need to do this node the main history we don't need to do this again this is going to still work perfect right so that is how to work it with it but once you have linked it you can just go straight away with domain history right domain history and then treat away just go without specifying that so that should help it's going to work perfectly for us thank you for watching this tutorial so in case you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section below and stay tuned for the next optional option of how to publish this particular app to NPM and then on GitHub. Thank you and I stay